Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've actually created a look on my twin. This isn't me. And we've gone with a nice blue green look. So if you want to see how I created it, then please keep on watching. Now this is her just doing her posing. She loved how the look turned out and so did I. I think the blue and green looks amazing on her brown eyes and her dark features. Take me into the back room. It ain't a party cause without you I'm out of control but down for the chase. Get out of your body. So to start off, I'm just brushing her eyebrows up. She has really nice full eyebrows and I'm not actually doing her eyebrows yet. I'm just brushing them up so I can carve them out and start on the eyeshadow. So once I've brushed all the hairs up, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15. And I'm just carving out her brows where I'd normally fill them in. And I'm also going to drag this concealer down to use as a primer for the eyeshadow. And I actually learnt um, doing this technique by carving out the eyebrows without actually filling them in from Makeup With Jar. It just creates a more natural eyebrow. So if your client doesn't want really like filled in Instagram brows, then this technique is really good as it creates a more softer brow. Once the concealer is all blended out, I'm going with the Laura Mercier translucent powder to set that all down. I used a concealer that was a few shades lighter than her skin tone because this will make the eyeshadows pop as it is a lighter shade. So to start off this eye look, I'm taking the Carnival palette by Be Perfect Cosmetics and I'm taking the shade Envy which is a dark green and I'm going to be packing this on both lids so instead of starting with the transition shade I'm taking the darker shade first and packing this across the lid. Once I've got it at the intensity I want, I'm going in with a lighter shade to try blend it out. And as you can see, that eyeshadow started going really patchy and like it started removing from the center of the eye. And I'm not quite sure if it was the eyeshadows or how I primed the lids, but we're fixing it by carving out the crease with glitter glue anyway. So you're not going to see the patchiness. <laughs> Once I finish cutting the crease, I'm going to go in with an Inglot pigment and I'm taking the shade 113, which is a super pretty blue shade, which you'll see here. And I'm just going to pack this all over where I've made the cut crease. Once I've packed the pigment on where I want it, I'm taking that shade there from the Morphe Vault Collection. I think the palette is the Armed and Gorgeous one. And I'm packing this on the outer corner and just blending it in so there's no harsh line between the pigment and the shadows. I also like to go back in with my first fluffy brush just to blend everything together and make sure there's no harsh lines and then I'm taking a cotton pad with some micellar water just to clean up under the eye and get rid of all that fallout. Now I'm 
Next, I'm going to highlight her brow bone. I'm taking the shade Dreamer from the ABH Norvina palette. And I'm just placing this right in the arch and only focusing it in that area. And then I'll go back in with the brush I used before just to blend it with the blue. Now that the eyes are done, I'm taking my Benefit Precisely My Brow in the shade 4. And I'm going to start filling in her brows. And my sister likes a more natural eyebrow, so I'm just doing little strokes and brushing them through as I go just to create a nice, still filled in, but not as harsh as I would do my eyebrows. So now that her eyebrows are nice and filled in, I'm taking the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Custard and I'm just going to carve around the tops of her brows just to clean up anything and still give them that carved out effect without being too harsh. If your client wants a more natural brow, I definitely recommend doing this technique or if you just want to try something new because I feel like it does make um, filling in the brows a lot quicker as well as we've already got the outline of where we're going to be filling them in and Now that the majority of the eyeshadow is done I'm going to be priming her face with the benefit matte rescue because she has oily skin like me And I'm just taking this on a paddle brush and I'm going to be placing that all over going to be taking some of the MAC Fix Plus in pink light just to spray for some extra hydration and a bit more of a glowy base. So for foundation I'm going to be taking the NARS Natural Radiant in the shade Tahui. This is my favorite and my sister's favorite foundation and I'm going to be mixing in some of the MAC Strobe Cream in pink light with the foundation to give it a more natural um, and glowy finish, but it'll still be super full coverage, but she does like a more natural glowy finish so I'm blending it all in first with my real techniques buffer brush and then here I'm going in with the beauty sponge just to absorb any excess product and to blend it out even more to create that flawless finish Here I'm just going to place on her false lashes. I'm pretty sure these are tatty lashes in TL4 I'm not quite sure but I think they'd most likely be those ones. And now we're going in with concealer. So I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade C8. And I'm placing this on her chin, cupid's bone, nose, forehead, and also under the eyes. I've only just been testing out this concealer. And so far, I really like it. Like, it's super full coverage, affordable, and there's heaps of shades. So, yeah, I really like it. So next I'm going to be putting my Laura Mercier translucent powder under the eyes to bake. I'm putting extra powder there just because I want to catch any fallout from when we do the under eyes just because we are using really bright colours. And to set the rest of the face I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix in NC42 and I'm using a duo fibre brush just to create a more natural finish and to pack on less powder. <laughs> Now my sister loves to be bronzed like I do so I'm taking my Dark Deepest by MAC and I'm placing this on her cheeks, forehead, bit on her nose, under the lip and her jawline. <laughs> also telling me that she hates blush doesn't want blush but I went in with it anyway because I told her I knew she'd like it so I'm taking the NARS blush in the shade Gina and I'm placing this on her cheeks and also blending it back to blend in with the bronzer and this has a slight sheen to it so we can bring back some of that glow and yeah even though she thought she hated blush she ended up loving how it looked anyway so yeah don't be afraid to try out blush if you're usually scared of it and then I'm going in with a tiny bit of contour. I'm just taking my sculpting powder by Inglot in the shade 507. And I'm only doing a little bit because I don't want super harsh 
defined um, contour. I just wanted it to be more of a bronzy, glowy look. So yeah, I'm just placing that right under where we put the bronzer. Next, I'm going to be taking my Laura Mercier powder again just to clean up and make sure everything is nice and neat. And after this, we're going to go in with highlights. So I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in Hustler Baby. And I'm just taking a little real technique setting brush and putting a lot of highlighter on her cheekbones, forehead, down the nose, Cupid's bow and chin. I wanted this to be a super glowy bronze look. So yeah, just going all out with the highlighter. So I've just brushed off the bake with the same powder brush we used before and I'm just prepping her lips with some lip balm. This one is the Mecca one and it's in the shade Peach Shimmer. It's a super pretty lip balm but it doesn't even matter if it's pretty anyway because we're going to be covering it with lipstick. I just really like this one. After I've primed the lips I'm just going to go in and set her eyebrows and I'm taking the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 3 and brushing her eyebrow hairs up once again. So now to finish off the under eyes, I'm going with the two shades we used on the top of her lids and I'm just going to be blending these under her eye. And off camera, I just quickly put a bit of dark brown eyeliner in her waterline just to make it a bit more dramatic. And then I'm taking my Inglot Sparkling Dust in the shade 02, of course, because this is my favorite for the inner corner. And I'm just spraying the little brush with some Fix Plus just because it is a loose highlighter to help it stick in that inner corner. And next, I'm just going in with a bit of mascara for her bottom lashes. And I think she gets up a photo of me to compare how similar we look. Everyone was so surprised. Like, I didn't realize so many people didn't know I had a twin. But here she is showing a photo of me and her together. But yeah, we are super similar and, like, everything about us is the same. So next, I'm going in with lips. And she said she loves super plumped, overdrawn lips. So I'm going with Max Spice Lip Liner and I like using a darker lip liner and then a lighter lipstick to create the illusion of bigger lips. So I'm just taking this MAC Nude Lip Palette and putting on a light pink nude shade. I'm not exactly quite sure of the name but it, yeah it's just a light um, pink one. And then I'm also going to go in with the Inglot Gold Lips um, Lip Gloss to create glossy lips and this will also create the illusion of bigger lips. Once the lips are done, I'm just getting a little Q-tip to clean out any mascara fallout. Always wait till the mascara is dry before you try to brush it away as well. And then I'm also just brushing away the bake and she's cleaning her teeth because she had lipstick on them. And then I'm going in with my favourite setting spray, the Scandinavia Bridal Setting Spray and drowning her face in that. Take me into the back. She's wearing a strapless top. I wanted to bronze up her chest. So I'm taking the Liquid um, Glow by Anastasia Beverly Hills and a little um, buffer brush. And I'm placing that all over her chest just to create a nice overall glow. It ain't a party because without you, I'm out of control. But down for the chase, get out of your body. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I really loved filming it for you guys. And if you want to see more videos of us together, um, doing our makeup together or me doing another client tutorial on her, please comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.